Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it is a beautiful milk carton box. I love this box, I love the paper, love the size of it. It's two and a half by two and a half inches and to that point there, although obviously it's taller there, and that's six and a half by six and a half centimetre. Where's the six and a half centimetre cube? And the extended bit and it's just lovely love this and I've mixed in some of our paper from the annual catalogue and stamp set and die set from the autumn winter catalogue thought I'd mix it all up so I'm using the same paper pack oh I've forgotten the name of the paper pack I want to say rooted in nature is it rooted in nature I'm gonna have a look <laughs> you know what you know when you get so into what names of papers are and then you forget to remember what they are nature's poem nearly there nature's poem um this one has a pink background so while this one's got white here um this has got petal pink and i've stamped blackberry bliss on white and then mounted it on blackberry bliss i don't know which one i think is going to be better so i've cut everything ready okay ten and a half inches by seven and a half inches 28 by 19 and a half centimeters don't worry about writing anything down it's all written on my blog click over the description bar and it's there Okay, so on the long side, score it every two and a half inches, two and a half, five, seven and a half and ten, which in metric is every six and a half centimetres. So that's six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half and twenty-six. And then turn it round and score it at two and a half and five. And then flip it over to score on the back at seven inches. And that's so we can get this lovely bit here. So in metric, six and a half, 13, turn it over and score it at 18. Okay, let me scoot that out of the way. And we'll get, do um, you know what? I've got a grubby bone folder here. Let me see if I've got another one that's a bit cleaner. That's better. Um, I was making boxes earlier, or well, making projects earlier, not specifically a box. And used my bone folder and it put a dirty streak across it and I was like no and I don't know how it's got grubby actually I do I work with ink <laughs> okay so I'm burnishing all my score lines and I've done two of them that way and then I've got this thin one at the top and that's going to come the other way but it's reasonably thin so Gently guide with your fingers first. Okay, right. Oh, I'm down to one pair of scissors. I wonder where my other two pairs have gone. Okay, so this thin bit here at the top, we keep that at the top, and then there's a thin section on the side. Keep that to the right hand side. Gently miter and take a little, little snippet off, only a little bit. And then take out the skinny rectangle there and then cut straight up these. So you'll have seen me make milk cartons before in varying sizes. Don't know if I've made one this size before. Don't think I've made one in paper. It's quite sturdy paper. So what you're left with, it's all sealed at the top and the bottom all separated. So grab your tear and tape, or if there's any left in the clearance rack after I've shopped it, um, there's fast few still available love that stuff it was a real marmite wasn't it you either loved it or you hated it i loved it might possibly have stocked up but i do like tear and tape as well okay so this is the back folding two sides if you've got something heavy whack a load of adhesive on that bit and that bit and that bit and stick it all down um and then definitely some on the front because obviously you don't want anything to fall out but yeah if you've got something heavy um, you need it well stuck down so plenty of adhesive I haven't mine's currently empty right so we've got this score line here and here and if you push your fingers on one side and the other just at the top it will naturally fold in and resist if I can get hold of it or I'm trying to show you and hovering it up in the air and it will resist at that point, although apparently not on this side. Maybe I maybe I overburnished there. It should resist. Why is that not doing that? Or maybe I didn't burnish enough. What's going on? <laughs> I 
<laughs> it doesn't want to do it. Yours will. Mine doesn't. What have I done? <laughs> we'll pretend it does. Because <laughs> it will do in a second. I'll sort it all out. And it'll be gorgeous for pictures. Um, grab your little handheld punch. And punch holes there. And there. Because that's what we're going to feed twine through. Why does that want to go in like that? I'm very confused. <laughs> My fingers aren't long enough to push it out. There we go. Got there in the end brilliant okay twine so the nature's poem suite rooted in nature suite comes with some gorgeous twines in four colors so you get a pack of four and they are matching to all of the papers in here so you get a lovely natural twine color the blackberry bliss you get the mint macaron and you get um is it grapefruit grape i think it's grapefruit grape you have four lovely colors on really good sized spools actually And this is the blackberry bliss one. Okay, let me grab a couple of pegs to keep this shut just while I tie the twine closed. And then we can have we can make a decision on which one we prefer over the petal pink or the white. And my instinct is go white. But actually I I do think it might look better on the petal pink, but we'll have a go. Let's have a look. So twine down and then trim off the ends and it, do you know what, I'm getting to the end of my roll and it's curling a little bit, well I'm not really getting to the end of the roll because there's still tons left but it's it's curling. That's okay, I quite like the cut, oh for goodness sake, go away Berry. I've kept you company all day, now you want to come and see. So this is Falling from Leaves from the annual, no, from the Autumn Winter Catalogue comes with a set of dies that you can buy separately or together and I'm just going to grab this one because I rather like it but yeah you can stamp out these images and die cut them and you can die cut independently so that one would fit round there but actually you know you'd lose all the detail of the stamp but it's photopolymer which means I can see what I'm doing hurrah and with photopolymer if you've not come if you've not had them before let them relax a bit on your cardstock on your paper because there, there is the potential to stretch them out of shape. So if you just let it relax a little bit. Okay, Blackberry Bliss Ink. We'll try it on both and see what happens. Seriously, Berry. <laughs> Blocking the light. Okay. Oh, she's gone again. So I don't know why I'm lining it up on the grid paper. I can see what I'm doing. So that's it on white. Let's have a look at it on petal pink. See, I'm still lining it up. Automatic habit. Pop those away. Just let them dry a little bit because Blackberry Bliss tends to be a little bit. Um, it takes a bit longer to dry. Okay. Magnetic platform, clear plate, Blackberry Bliss, and I like to put my dies through at an angle particularly when they're very detailed like this. Clear plate on top. Big shot. And I'm going to go backwards and forwards a couple of times in the hopes that that will have cut beautifully. Not quite. So I'm going to do, but you know what? I teach this all the time. I'm going to send it through upside down. And I teach how to do it and then forget to remember myself. Die cut detail dies upside down. And that is pretty much all the way through. There we go. All the way through now. So let's scooch that out of the way. 
And where's my dye brush? Poke all those bits out. Where's my poker? There's a couple there that don't want to come out. And actually, you're only going to see the top half, but you know what? I'll poke them through anyway. Because a lot of it's going to get hidden. Snip off the end. And I'm still undecided as to which I want to do. So, if I get that on first... There we go. Right, box. What do we think to the white? Or should we go petal pink? Hmm, I think it's going to be petal pink. Okay. And this, the petal pink layer is 2x2 two two inches, 5x5 five five centimetres. And the Blackberry Bliss one is not it's two and an eighth of an inch by two and an eighth of an inch five and a half by five and a half centimeters okay and almost there and it nestles perfectly in the center box done yeah petal pink I think that works. I think this is a washed out version of Petal Pink, but it's still that colour. Versus this one. Cute. Two and a half inches. You could fit tons in there. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.